Dozens of learners in Johannesburg took up the United Nations AI for Good challenge to code and build robots to change the world. Today the competition is about um, agriculture, so basically farming, because in South Africa um, our farming is really low because of the heat and every and all the other problems and also the farmers are lacking technology to help them with farming, so we're going to be the people that provide that technology. The competition set hearts racing as teams took turns to put their Lego built machines to the test. At stake, a place in the finals in Geneva. I like about the way we have to create a robot, like creating our own robots, making it to help um, move the things, take the things, put it into another side, which is so interesting. I can see the robots like change in the world. It's going to make the job easier, going to make everything easier. The initiative, which spans across 70 countries, is not just about learning to code. It's about uncovering the next generation of African AI innovators. AI has great potential to solve global challenges, and if from affordable health care to education for all to clean energy to natural disaster management and food security, so all the big global challenges affecting the world. We think it's very important to bring AI for good to parts of the world where they need local solutions for local problems. It's clearly evident there's enough talent here. However, there are still challenges. For most of these students, they don't have regular access to teaching and learning in terms of robotics. The way technology is growing so fast, we can't wait for them to go to university and learn robotics. If they can start it at school, then you know, they will have that wonderful advantage. We need to develop those uh, unpolished diamonds. Only that, uh, that way we can um, have a generation that's going to be uh, computer literate and AI prepared. We need to put content together for them to be able to learn. And when they get out of school, they would know in which career path they're actually going to carve for themselves. Solving the world's problems may feel like an impossible task, but this exercise brings it within reach, imparts valuable skills, and shows how technology can be used for good. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg.